finally got my IRX machine up and running. Machine has bad Ethernet address. Wonder what the hell that means. I don't know anything about this machine other than it's a uh, this GI Indy, that's where they clearly thought about putting a floppy drive, but never did. Yeah, I don't know anything about the SGI Indy. The thing about this machine is, I have to leave it off for a while, otherwise the monitor goes black. And when it goes black, I can never get it back. I can turn the power off and back on and you might see the monitor come up for a second, say, starting up the system, and then it goes black again. I don't know why. Starting IP spool. This is where it hangs up. It never gets any further than that, and I don't know why. So if uh, anybody knows anything about these machines, please let me know. Never mind, I take that back. It actually got further. Oops. There goes the monitor. It just went black. Just went black. Yeah, that's what I mean. That right there, you just seen it through your own eyes. I just cut it. So, uh, yeah, that's what happens, guys. And the only way I can get out of that is if I physically cut the power for at least 15 minutes. Otherwise, the monitor never comes back. See, let's see what happens. Turn the power off. See if it'll come on. Okay, yeah, it came on. Huh. That's surprising. See, it's weird because the lab coat, white coat syndrome, now that I'm filming, it's not going to do it. But normally, I lose the monitor. Yep, I lost the monitor. That's exactly what it does. So now, in order for me to get the monitor back, I gotta cut the power, I gotta wait at least 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, it'll come back to that main screen again. So, uh, yeah, you see the problem. And I know nothing about these machines. So if you have any ideas or whatever, just let me know.